Hi everyone! Today we're going to show you how to create a bookable product or service with our plugin GIF Booking and Appointment for WooCommerce. We're going to show you how to configure all the options available from the booking duration to add in the extra cost, services, and resources. Before we get into it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Each product or service you want to offer to your customers through a booking system is managed on WooCommerce as a bookable product. So, no matter if you want to get bookings for a room, a hotel, guitar lessons, or a medical appointment, the first step is always to create a bookable product. I already have my booking and appointment plugin activated on this site, so what I'm going to do now is click on products Add new to create a new product. I'm going to name this product first and I'm going to scroll down to product data. Here we're going to change this to bookable product. We're going to find all these sections, people, costs, availability, services, and resources, because I enabled the related modules. You will find these modules in the plugin dashboard in add-ons modules. So first thing, Make sure the virtual option is checked if the product is not a physical product that has to be shipped. Then, in the Booking Options menu, Settings, is where you'll start configuring the bookable product. In Booking Duration, you can set if your customers can book for minutes, hours, days, or months. For example, for a medical appointment, users usually book for hours or minutes. For a hotel room, it might be for days. In this case, since we're creating an apartment for rent, we're going to set this to days and users are going to be able to book units of one day. Then we can enable the calendar range picker right here. This way, the calendar is shown in the booking form on this products page. You can also choose the default day to show in the booking form. You can choose to leave the field empty, show the current day, the current day plus one, the first date available, or set a custom date. Let's choose first available. Then you can enable the full day booking. If you do, in a booking from Monday to Tuesday, the Tuesday will be considered as fully booked and it will not be available for other customers to book it. Below, you can also set the allowed start days for example, we can make sure bookings only start on Mondays or leave the field empty if we simply want to allow customers to start the booking any day of the week. Then you'll find the booking term section. This is where you can set the maximum number of bookings allowed per unit. For example, if I were renting out three rooms in the same house, then I could set this to three because they would be three different rooms available for customers to rent. But if I'm renting out an entire apartment in a single booking and I need to prevent multiple bookings in the same period, the maximum bookings per unit should be one. Then we can set the minimum and maximum booking duration. For example, we can say customers have a minimum booking duration of three so they will need to book the apartment for at least three days. This right here, of course, is related to the booking duration units you set right here. If I change it to hours, it changes to hours. Let's change it back to days. Then we have the minimum maximum advanced reservation. You can leave this field empty if you don't need to set any limits. Or you can ask users to book products a minimum of five days before the booking start date and a maximum of five months, for example. Then you can set the check-in and check-out times. This info will be shown in the booking form so customers will know this before booking the product. Let's enter the check-in and check-out times. Then you can set the buffer time between bookings. 
This can be useful in case you need time between bookings for the cleaning service to take care of the room or simply a pause before the next booking begins. The units for this option also depend on the booking duration set above. You can also request confirmation. This way you can get the booking requests and confirm each request manually instead of having the customers book the apartment or product at once. You can also enable the allow cancellation option if you want to allow customers to cancel their bookings. If this option is enabled, you can set a time limit like for example, three days for users to cancel the booking. So users can then cancel any bookings up to three days before the booking start date. The last section here, Google Maps, allows you to enter an address for the bookable product after setting your Google Maps API key and only if the Google Maps module has been enabled. You will find the section to set your Google Maps API keys right here. By doing this, you can add a map with the location on the product page using the related shortcode. The following section is people. Here's where you can set all the options related to the people types. First, you have to enable the option to assign people to the product. Once you do this, you can set a minimum and a maximum number of people per booking. For example, the apartment I'm renting out has two big rooms. So I can set a minimum of one person and a maximum of eight people. You can then enable the option to count people as separate bookings. This is in case you need to have a fixed number of people per booking and count each person as a separate booking. So if you have limited availability for the product, like let's say you're renting out 10 bikes and you need to update the available quantity according to the bookings received. So if you have 10 people on this one booking, then those 10 bikes are going to be booked because it's one booking per person and you'll prevent overbooking. You can also enable people types right here. And if you do so, a people type section will appear below. This is where you can enable the people types you want to show in this product. And for each of them, you can set the minimum or maximum number of people allowed per booking. Like let's say for children, we set a minimum of zero and a maximum of two. So customers would only be able to add two children to the booking. You can also set the price for each person. This will of course overwrite the base price for the product. Let's say the base price for this product is $100 a day, but I can overwrite this just for children and set the base price to 50 a day. Also make sure to enable the people types if you're going to use them for your bookings. Let's enable children and adult. Then let's move on to costs. Here you're going to be able to set all the options related to the bookable products costs. First, in the standard prices section, we're going to set the base price for the product. This is the base price for one day because it's the booking duration I set previously in the booking settings section. I'm going to set this to 100 and you can decide here if you want to multiply this price by the number of people included in the booking. For example, we can rent out this apartment with a fixed price of $100 a day. No matter how many guests are included in the booking, if I don't check this option, then the price will be $100 total per day. But if I check it, and the booking includes five people, then the base price will be multiplied by that number. So it's going to be a total of $500 per day. Let's uncheck this. So if we don't check this option, there's an option to set an extra price for every person added. For example, we can keep the $100 base price for the first two guests, but then we can add an extra $20 for each additional guest. Then you'll also find the option to set a fixed base fee and you can also choose to multiply it by the number of people. For example, you can create a $5 individual tax fee that all guests must pay 
or just a single fee to charge for the entire booking, no matter how many guests are included in the booking, like this. Then we have the discount section. Here you can set a weekly discount to encourage users to book for a week. We have a monthly discount to encourage users to book for a month. And then we have the last minute discounts for booking placed a number of days before the start date. Let's say we can offer a 10% discount for bookings placed three days before the start date. Then if we scroll down in the extra costs section, you can set a price for the global costs that were previously created in the plugin panel. For example, I created the cleaning fee cost before in Yi, the booking configuration costs. I can add this extra cost for an amount of $10 and this can be multiplied by people or duration. I'm going to check duration. This way, if they book for five days, the cleaning fee will be $50. You can also add costs here that haven't been created before like this. And the last section here is the advanced price rules. Here you can create advanced rules to set different prices for specific conditions. So these rules basically change the product's base price or fee. For example, let's click on create rule. We're going to set a 10% discount during April and May. We're going to name the rule. We're going to set the conditions. Here you see all the options available. You can even set people as conditions. We're going to choose range of months and we're going to set from April to May. The rule changes the base price, yes. Base price for one day decreases the price as a percentage by 10%. You can create any kind of rule you want. You can set discounts, you can increase the price during the high season, you can set discounts for Black Friday and more. We're going to add rule here and we're going to scroll up and we're going to click on the availability section. Here you can set all the options related to the booking availability. You can set the default availability so you can make the bookable product bookable all days or set a specific availability for days or hours. For example, if you have a doctor's office, you can set it as not available for appointments on Saturdays or Sundays because the doctor is not working during the weekend. Let's say I want to allow customers to book the apartment any day, but I don't want it to be booked on Mondays. So I'm going to add options for specific days and I'm going to set Mondays as not bookable. You can also create additional availability rules here, add rule. For example, we can create a rule to make Christmas not bookable for every year from now on. So we're going to set this rule's name. The type is going to be generic dates because I want this rule to be applied every year, not just this year. And we're going to apply the rule from December 24th to December 25th. And we're going to set availability to all days meaning December 24th and December 25th as not bookable. Add rule and that's it. Customers won't be able to book this apartment on those dates. Then in the services section, you can add any service you created previously in the plugin panel. Since you set the services price and settings while creating this in Yid booking configuration services, here you only need to add those services to this bookable product. As soon as you click here, you're going to see all the services available. I'm going to add breakfast and Wi-Fi. I can also deselect all and click on select all to add them all here. Then in the resources section, you can set all the options related to the resources. This is possible if you enable the resources module and if you create the resources in the related section in the plugin panel. Now let's enable the resources. Here you can choose how to assign resources to the product. You can have customers select one resource, one or more, or you can automatically assign one resource or all of them. If this option is selected, customer can select one resource, the required 
option will be enabled. If I select any other option, that option disappears. Let's select this one again and we can deactivate this option so the resource is not mandatory. Let's enable this again. Here you can set the label for the resources. This is the label that we'll be using card and totals all over the site. And here is the label that is used for resources on the product page. And here in the section below, you can click on add resource to choose which resource out of the ones that were created previously in the plugin panel to assign to this product. Let's add the TV, the surround system and the bike. There we go. And for each resource, you can enter the base price for one day and a fixed base fee if you want to. And you can also multiply each of these by the number of people. Let's set the price for all resources. We're going to multiply the bike's price by the number of people because each person will want their own bike and also the fixed base fee. Now we can finish setting up the product. We're going to add a short description, an image right here to identify the product. And we're going to publish it. This is the same process used to create a simple product on WooCommerce. Now let's go see this bookable product. Here's my apartment for rent. If I scroll down, you're going to find that I have the description here, the title, and here's the booking form. We have the price, the check-in and check-out times that I entered before, the resources with the label that you can customize. If I click here, you see that they have the base fee and the base fee for a day. And the bike, remember we chose to multiply both the base fee and the base price for the bike per person. Then we have the calendar here. Remember we enabled the calendar picker. Here, the first date available is selected. Keep in mind that here, the plugin is taking into account all the settings that I configured before. So it's taking into account that the minimum booking duration I set is three days, that I set Mondays as not bookable, and that the last day of the booking is considered a full day booking. So the booking can only start from Tuesday to Friday because the minimum booking duration is three days and we need to make sure that the booking does not finish on Mondays. So if I select Tuesday the 1st, I'm going to have these options available to select as an end date, not Tuesday itself or Wednesday, because of course the minimum booking duration is three days. Let's select this one. We also have the people types here. Remember I enabled children and adults. If I select one adult, it is going to be $100 a day for three days. If I add more, I'm not going to see a change here because I set the base price for each day $100 and did not choose to multiply it by the number of people. Same goes for the special price I had set for children. If I change this, the price remains the same for the base price because even though I set a different price for children, I need to multiply the base price by the number of people for that price to be shown here. The only thing that can be added because I configure it is the extra price of $20 I set for every person added after two. So if I add a new person here, now it's 120 because I'm adding 20 extra dollars for every person added after two like this. You also have the services here. Breakfast was optional, but Wi-Fi was not optional. It was required. So customers cannot choose whether to add this or not, but they can choose whether they want to add breakfast or not. Right now, because Wi-Fi is required, services are $5, but I can add breakfast here and services will be $15. Customers will find all of the details here. These are all settings that you can configure for your bookable products based on your own needs. And of course, right here we have the book now button that you can also customize in the plugin panel. Okay, so that's how you can create a bookable product or service with our plugin. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.